2008 Land Rover LR2. I'm gonna do rear differential fluid change. So there it is coming in from the driver's side. And that is the drain plug right there. It's also the fill plug. So the fluid is this Castrol EPX. It's an 8090. That's one liter of it. Full, full change should be 0.7. 13 millimeter socket, syringe, some stuff to catch the oil. Just trying to get a good view here. All right. Sorry to loosen this one up. You cannot get a box end on there because of these fins. Take the plug out. And I'll try to measure how much fluid comes out here. All right, I'm just gonna hook up the syringe and start draining fluid. Gotta find a good angle to get it down through the gears. There we go. So it's like aiming it towards the passenger side is pretty good. Alright, this is as good as the Haldex unit was. We should get some siphoning action and it'll just drip. Maybe that. It's just empty in the syringe. Alright, well I'll continue to drain this and then fill it. Drained out the old fluid, got about 625 milliliters, spilled some. Not bad considering 0.7 liters is the full amount, if it was a full change. So this bottle is interesting. You uh, remove a plastic seal on it, pull it up, which you're basically inverting this plastic here, and then unscrew it and you have a funnel. So I'll see if we can use this because there should be a little bit more room than uh, when I was doing the Haldex. Um, if not, I got plenty of other tools for that. All right, I actually got about 0.7 liters in there, so that was pretty good. And this is just starting to drain out of here. You can also see if you stick your pinky finger in there, you'll be able to feel the fluid level. So I'm just gonna put this back. Drain plug. I don't have torque specs offhand for this, but usually these are pretty tight. Tight enough to drop the phone. All right, that's that.